Hello, hello, my friends. It's Angel Valenciano here from Oshawa, Ontario, Canada, and I'm coming to you from the deep, dark depths of Dundee Park Forest. <laughs> now, again, walking meditation, spending some time outside because uh, the springtime is here, and uh, I just love Mother Nature and the energy that she, uh, she provides for me. So let's get down to part three of how to make money online. And a uh, quick recap on parts one and parts two. Part one was to create a capture page that is targeted to the traffic source that you are uh, advertising your capture page in. Again, for more clarification, you can uh, I'll put the link for part one. Capture page in a targeted traffic source or your targeted capture page in a particular traffic source or sources. Okay, part two was because that capture page, what occurs with that is uh, you're putting it in traffic sources, you're actually collecting leads, meaning you're collecting the names and emails of flesh and blood people out there that have a problem, primarily I guess with the marketing or the online business building, and you are there to provide them with a solution. So that capture page is this, uh, like a heading. It is the, uh, shall I say, it's, a, it's the thing that gets people to opt into your list, onto your autoresponder list. And the autoresponder essentially is the modern day Rolodex, meaning it's, it's the, the autoresponder uh, list is the list of people that you are able to connect with on a per more personal level uh, in terms of offering them, giving them value and offering them products and services uh, that you're, that you're uh, a member of or that you're giving away, selling shall we say. Okay, so that's number one and two. Number three kind of encompasses uh, and it, it encompasses the, the big picture and that is branding, folks. You, you know, for the newbies out there, the intermediates or, or what have you, you may hear of this thing called branding and uh, what that is all about just think of it as we step aside here for a second. Just think of Nike, McDonald's, Virgin Mobile, even Sprint, Budweiser, big, as they're called, the big companies, the big brands out there. What have they done? Years and years and years and years upon years, without fail, every day, they're branding themselves. They're getting their image, shall we say, their logo out into the, into the general public. They are also branding their message, what they believe in, what they stand for, what they offer to people. Now, it's just Budweiser, it's just not beer. It's all about what? Good times and friends and hanging out and all that kind of stuff, right? McDonald's as much as whatever we'll get into a different video about McDonald's, but Golden Arches, you know Ronald McDonald himself the Hamburglar heck. I don't know grimace these are images that they Plant in your mind as a kid You know you go happy meal you go to McDonald's heck. I even eat a happy meal once in a while uh, <laughs> In my adult life here. They're just yummy not that good for you, but heck, whatever. So they're branding from when I was a kid, three, four, five years old, six years old, going to your birthday parties at McDonald's. Guess what? All of that is branding. And uh, similar to Nike, uh, even, even sub brands like the Air Jordan brand, you know? Um, I know Magic Johnson and uh, Larry Bird were in the... Uh, 
Converse. They were con remember Converse and Nike. They had like just back in the day. It's just like you're either Converse or you're Nike. But just like that, look at what that does. That builds loyal customer base, essentially through the subconscious mind, planting seeds over time. Now it's not over, it's not overnight. Branding is not an overnight thing, folks. It's a consistent thing. If you're in the traffic exchanges, solo ads, uh, in the Facebook groups for that matter, Facebook's a big thing. If you're branding yourself, especially, like look in Facebook, you're, you end up in people's news feeds, uh, the sidebar there when it says, oh, so-and-so like this so-and-so comment, or when, you, when people see that you like other things, Guess what that does? You're, first of all, it gets your face out there consistently. And I'll just take Facebook for that matter. It gets you active in a certain community, primarily the niche that you are uh, targeting. It gets you looking. Now I know there's like fake it to make it and all that kind of stuff, but it gets you ac at least the portrayal of looking like an expert in that niche. And again, back to step one and two, don't just spam or inbox or, you know, like put your affiliate link out there. I would rather you guys put your face out there. And even on the side branding uh, point here, no pitching, no pitching of, of business of this or that or join this, join me, join. Who else? You don't go down the street and say, hey, join me. You know what I mean? Now, what you can do, and this is the coinciding with branding, is spread your message. <laughs> to me, honestly, open and authentic here. I love spirituality, cosmic awareness, uh, personal development, business building for that matter, uh, financial growth, financial uh, knowledge, increasing my financial thermostat, things like that. See, what I do is I talk about, I learn certain aspects of this, spirituality, cosmic awareness, things like that. I put that on my Facebook wall. I put that into Facebook groups, you know? And when people get to know you through what your message is all about, they start to resonate with you when they resonate with you on a subconscious level, you hit the heart. It's not like, hey, join my biz op, it's wicked, it's cool. It's like, hey, guess what? Because I learned something in a spiritual awareness group or a blog or something, here, this is what I learned. I learned one, two, and three. It has actually helped me uh, increase my business by 30%. Because I had, whatever, clarity of mind, to take more action on a daily basis in a consistent manner. You know, and I learned that from a spirituality group or something like that. See what that does? That automatically puts you out there as an expert rather than uh, a used car salesman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, I'm going to cut this one a little short here. But get in touch with me if you want a little bit more specifics. Specifics meaning, okay, what brand, who, who, how do I choose a brand? Or what am I? Or wh where, where do these brands reside? Well, right off the bat, right there. Facebook groups, Facebook fan pages, your blog. And even in your list, you can have like nice banners and things of that nature. Um, you know, branding is your face and your name, but you could also have like a symbol and your logo and things like that that you can put in your autoresponder like as a nice heading, your blog, you, you know, your blog acts as your, not, e not even your blog itself, like the domain name of your blog, you know, freedomlifestyle.com or whatever. These things become brands. And if you consistently back that up with, with positive messages that can help people out there, uh, Trust me on this one, guys. Once you hit the subconscious level and the heart of your viewers and the people that are following you and that, that picking up on your message, guess what? 
when you say, hey, this is a wicked opportunity. This, you can actually, at that time, then you can hit your list and say, guys, I just made a few thousand dollars in this biz op. Um, it be in your best interest to join me in this and I'll help you out, uh, get you started on that. See how easy that is? I'm not pitching. I'm always offering value, offering my message, uh, spreading my message, and that goes throughout branding. So, I hope you uh, enjoyed today's lesson. What was that part three? I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. This is an open-ended book. This was going to be a three-part mini-series, maybe four or five. I don't even know how much I'm gonna go on this. All I know is I appreciate you guys for tuning in into parts one, two, and three. And I will definitely have a part four for you. And uh, we'll either tidy it up with a part four or we'll have the supplementals. And uh, that'll be the ongoing knowledge for you guys. Okay? So, look how beautiful this field is. I'm just going to go run around in the field and play on the swings over there. Okay? Peace. Namaste. Get outside. The sun is beautiful. Love y'all.